And it is time for the Smackdown review with me, All Things Wrestling, joined as always by Crazy Day from Crackstream Productions. How are you doing today, man? I'm doing all right. And KK416, how are you today, man? I'm doing good. Yeah, that was kind of a meh episode of Smackdown. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Uh, we kicked off with Daniel Bryan in the ring cutting a hell of a promo about da- uh, Fastlane and Edge and overall just like everything going on. It was a pretty good promo. Very good promo. He clearly doesn't care about other talent anymore. And, you know, he just wants his match against Roman. Yeah. Maybe we'll have to put Roman over. Yeah. Uh, and then Jey Uso came out and they had an exchange. And it, we're going to get a um, cage match between Jey Uso and Roman and Daniel Bryan. The winner, um, if Daniel wins, he gets to face Roman. If Jey wins, Jey uh, shouldn't get a good phrase. Yeah, I gave this segment a uh, six out of ten. Yeah, it was, it was an solid How can you opening. Rate what do you think, I couldn't even hear it. Huh? Uh, how can you rate that segment? I couldn't even hear it between between the chat and Brad and everybody else. Oh, I was focusing. Yeah, Brad was uh, quite loud today. Hi, Brad, if you're watching. You were... Yeah. He, he wasn't loud. It was just another voice over top of the wrestling, so it made it difficult to hear. We then had Montez Ford face Baron Corbin, who won, and then Sami Zayn went against Angelo Dawkins, who defeated Sami Zayn. And then he's like, "Who, who did this? Who did this?" And then he beat up one of the cameramen. I didn't hire you. <laughs> Clearly, you did. Yeah, I the gave this man. one a four out of like four out of ten. Yeah, it, 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 the matches were meh. Yeah. It was alright. They really were. And then Reginald gets fired by Carmella. Ha ha, it's about time. You leave Reginald alone. He needs to pick a fucking side. Well, he has. And yeah, the, the and the rejected. problem is, is now now neither one of them want her or want him. Yeah. Carmella doesn't want him because he tra- he turned his back on her, and Sasha don't want him because she's the boss and doesn't need him. I'm surprised how that bottle exploded in his face. Uh, am I going that thing? Yeah. Uh, then Dominic Five Mysterio bucks? faced Chad Gable with um Rey Myster- uh, with Dominic Mysterio picking up the victory. It's not even there. Yeah. It was what an escape from by Gable, but what a win for Dominic. Yeah, exactly. Uh, then Seth Rollins was asked about Cesaro, and then Buddy Murphy showed up and said, I'm here to help. And he's like, get out of my sight now. This is very confusing. Like, first... You're back with him. First, you turned on him. Then you're back with him. Like either, like I was happy to see him, but like this doesn't make any sense. Maybe he Le- dumped him. Yeah, that whole storyline should have been dumped. Mm. Yeah, God, should have. Uh, we then quickly move on to Shayna Baszler facing off against Bianca Belair, and the right woman won because Bianca Belair won. She shuts her mouth and wrestles. I like her. I just don't like her, her promo style. Yeah. Uh, Reginald then said, we could be good together, Sasha, and then Sasha slapped him and said, go away. That's about as clear as it gets. Hmm. Yeah. Your thoughts, Dave? On sorry, I was dealing with a comment in one of my videos. Uh, with Reginald getting slapped by Sasha. Like I said uh, previously, Reginald needs needed to pick a side for a long from time, and now it's too late. Carmella doesn't want him because he turned his back on her, and Sasha doesn't need him because she's the boss. Yeah. 
Uh, we then go to Jay also in the dressing room with Roman, and he says, um, if you win, my title's safe. If not, I have to defend it fast lane. If you lose, you don't just embarrass yourself. You embarrass the family. Yep. I gave that where I gave that a three out of five. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty decent. Yeah. Uh, then we have Murphy versus Cesaro. Seth Rollins makes his way to the ring, and surprise, surprise, Cesaro wins. I like this feud so far. This needs to be like a thirty-minute in an Iron Man match. That'd be great. What do you think about Murphy's return match, Dave? Uh, it's nice to see him on TV again. It's a shame that he's trying to team up with uh, Seth Rollins again, of all people. Yeah, well, people do stupid things for women. Yeah. Uh, and then Reginald uh, knocked on the door of Sasha Banks, and, and she said, can I have another chance? And she said no and shut the door in his face. And then for some reason, Nia Jax hit on Reginald. And what the fuck was she wearing? Yeah, that basically that that is when um the show took a massive tank down. They're pretty much doing they're pretty much treating Reginald like Enzo because they did the same exact segment with her and Enzo. Yep, and it was cringe then, and it's still cringe now. Yeah. We then go to Apollo Crews. With a, a spear and two men uh, of m military stature. He obviously goes on talking about an Nigerian elite guard and loads of other stuff. Uh, overall, it wasn't a bad promo. I don't know, it's just this gimmick feels. I, d I, I don't know how to feel about the gimmick, so I'm not going to say anything about it's that. But really it's not a good promo. I think it would have been better if, if they just kept him as a heel without this gimmick. Because mm. his, his accent doesn't even sound legit. It sounds so forced. That's because it is forced. Yeah. We then go to Ding Dong Hello. <laughs> Sasha says, uh, I'll be reading sweet tweets. She read one about people liking it, and then the next one was um, a negative comment, so she screamed and left. left. Let's hope that's the end of Ding Dong Hello forever. Yeah, Let's Ding Dong Hello is cringe-tastic too. Yeah, especially when the first comment she read was, it should be the main event of WrestleMania. Fuck oh, off. It should be the end of Bailey. Ding Dong Bye Bye. Yeah, hello. she's not helping herself at this point. Uh, we then go to our main event. Obviously, um... Wait, Brad what happened to, uh... Do we do? Did I miss you guys discussing uh, uh, Gable versus Dominic? Yep. Yeah, we covered that. Okay. Yeah, we go to the cage match: Daniel Bryan versus Jey Uso. Roman was at ringside watching. Bryan gets a little bow lock in, and Uso taps out. Yeah, I was surprised to see Uso tap out. Well, he grabbed the ropes, but that doesn't cause a break in a steel cage match. Yeah, and once he grabbed that rope, he uh, Daniel Bryan kind of knew he had him because you watch you if you watch it back, he just starts reefing on that lapel lock. Yeah, he, he, he tasted blood sure. in the water. So he knew he knew he had him. Yeah. Uh, what would we it's be exciting. Yeah, it's a good ending. Daniel Bryan's going to face Roman at fast lane. What would we all rate SmackDown? Uh, one thing I'd like to say is like this all gives me like a fast lane 2015 vibe because like they clearly had a match at that pay per view in 2015 and they're gonna you know run it back one more time. Yeah, I think it's gonna be match of it could be a match of the year contender. But yeah, I think so. Well, what what we rate SmackDown out of five out of ten? Sorry. I'm going to be very specific. 8.75. Okay. Dave? I was going to say like a 7.5. Uh, 
Damn, I'm being a bit harsher. I was gonna go like six. It wasn't any better or worse than Raw, in my opinion. Yeah. And that is our thoughts on SmackDown. Tomorrow we'll be watching UFC and Dave will most likely be watching hockey, so make sure you subscribe to him. His link is in the description below. And then Sunday we'll both be watching AEW Revolution. It's going to be a great day. I'm lo really looking forward to Sunday. And yeah, yeah, so we're doing the predictions, what, 3 o'clock tomorrow? Uh, yes, that should be absolutely Eastern fine. time. Yeah, yeah, that more, yeah, that should be more than fine. So yeah, 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern, making it 8 p.m. English time. Check out uh, Craft Screen Productions for our predictions on AEW Revolution. Till next mm -hmm. time. Next time, guys. We'll catch you later. Bye. Peace out.